All right, hockey fans, welcome to another edition of World's Hockey Show, the number one rated hockey team show on Lakes Region Public Access. Back with us, Coach Kuhns, from a long absence. Happy to be here. What are you up to, Coach? Oh, uh, you know, just hockey and, uh, you know, spending time with the family. That's all good stuff, all good stuff. Uh, a lot of hockey happened this weekend. We had our youth tournaments um, and for the New Hampshire State title, and uh, we had a lot of ton of games being played and a lot of good results. Coach, how did the youth of teams do? Start it off. Uh, U15s, they had their um, state tournament was in Mount Washington uh, Valley, so they had some some games up there. Yep, and they uh, and they made it to the semis. Coach Garen had them playing in the upper bracket with the U16 Tier 2 level, um, and they beat the average. And one game earned that trip to the semifinals, but then ultimately lost in the semis. Um, who are some players on the 15s that have impressed you most this season, Coach? Uh, I think Cam Plum has really stood out from that group. He's a good, good talented forward. Absolutely. One other player that actually who's made a difference in the last couple of weeks is Ryan Sember. He's a good skating D. His brother is on the EHLP team. He wasn't able to play in that tournament this weekend. I think that was a big loss for him. Uh, what are your impressions early on of Ryan Sember? I think he's a smart player and a good skater. So uh, hasn't played much D, but he's done well that position. Absolutely. We have two clips. We're going to show you the game in which they beat the New Hampshire Avalanche. The U15s played their second game of the weekend against the New Hampshire Avalanche. Here they are in the second period. Trevor Lemire makes a nice play to get the puck in on the goalie. Nice deep, great finish. This put the Wolves up 2-1 to one against the Avs. Great finish, Trevor. Here against the New Hampshire Avalanche again. This might be the play of the weekend. Great pass over to Cam Plum. He fires a shot that goes just wide. Cam Plum has been getting early accolades by Coach Kuhns and several other coaches. Good young player here in the Wolves program. He forechecks, picks off a puck right there, makes a great toe drag on the goalie, deeks to his backhand. Great finish by Cam Plum. All right, Coach, so you saw some clips there of Cam Plum in action, U15s, U16s had their tournament this weekend too. Uh, what has stood out for you about some of the group on the U16s? I think there's some some talented players there and some hardworking guys. So like uh, in the past week in practice, Sullivan had a really good week as, as a good young player there too. Absolutely. He's a player who actually like the last two, three weeks he started to really separate himself. You know, early on it was an adjustment. He's kind of figuring things out, but he's definitely stood out these last two weeks. He had a great weekend this weekend, in which he was given the uh, the code after one of the games, um, and you know our, that team did really well. So they went into the tournament as the fourth seed. They won a game against the uh, Northern Cyclones, which gave them an opportunity to play at the regional tournament in March. So congrats to those guys. Definitely. We got a couple clips. We're going to show you right now. Second shift of the game against the Northern Cyclones. Bryce Neal picks off a puck, gets it up to Charles Day. Nice deke. Wolves take a 1-0 lead. They won this game 4-1. There's Zach Rich, player of the game in that game. He had two goals. And there's Sullivan, who's celebrating his goal against the, um, the Seacoast Spartans. Great job, guys. So, Coach, tell me about Coach Mike Potenza's U18 split squad. They had the state playoffs up in Berlin. Uh, made it to the finals, uh, where they took on the host team. Uh, it came up just short, but it was a good weekend for them. Absolutely. They played up in the famed Notre Dame Arena up in Berlin. Uh, Coach Garen always tells us that has some uh, a lot of history to that building. I've actually never been up there myself. I haven't made the trip yet either. <laughs> well, they made it to the finals, like Coach said. Uh, so they ended up finishing as the New Hampshire runner-up at U18 Tier 3. Congrats to the U18 splits. We got a couple saves by the goaltenders who played great all weekend. Here's some great saves by our U18 Tier 3 netminders. They stood tall in nets against good competition with the Granite State Wild and with the Berlin Sabres. Great job, guys. Great job in nets. Keep up all the hard work. Better days are ahead. All right, so Coach, U18 Full played their uh, New Hampshire Tier 2 playoffs this weekend up in Berlin as well. Tell me a little bit about some of the players on that team and uh, some of the results they have from the weekend. Yeah, so they were also up, up in Berlin. Uh, I think it was some mixed mixed results on the weekend, but um, you know, a couple of guys 
on that team, uh, Owen Guerin is, is a talented player, and um, Riendo is, is uh, a hard-working forward as well that we saw last week at, at practice during the day when they had no school. I was here practicing with uh, some of the junior teams, so uh, good player as well. Yeah, he's a player that kind of flies under the radar. He works really hard. He's a good skater. He's good on the four check. I think there's a lot of potential there with Riendo. I'm, I'm excited to see that, you know, he could have stayed home and played for Berlin at the Tier 3 level, but he challenged himself and played down here at the Tier 2 level. So, uh, you know, kudos to Braden Riendo. Good job, buddy. They did have one tie on that weekend. It was a good showing um, with a late goal that got them, that earned that tie. So great job for the U18 fall. Now, Coach, tell me about the EHLP. EHLP um, had a game on Saturday here in Laconia versus uh, Seahawks uh, from Cape Cod. Uh, we're up here and they they lost the game four to two, but it was a it was a back and forth game and they they played well. We got a highlight. We're going to show you right now, Nick Therrien. So late in the second period, Wolves down two to one. It was a great shift by Nick Therrien, Nate Guinness, and Michael Rambusik. They do. Move the puck on the forecheck, get it to the net. Nick Therrien ties the game at two at that point in the game. Wolves are going to lose this game, but it was a great back and forth effort against one of the top teams in the league. Good job, Nick. So, Coach, that was a great goal by Nick Therrien. He's now got two goals in two games. As a 2004 birth year player in that league, he's one of the younger players in the league. Uh, and it took him you know, a good seven, eight games to adjust to get on the score sheet. Tell me about your thoughts of, uh, about Nick Therrien's game. I think, like you said, he, uh, it was an adjustment at the beginning of the year, and in the last two, three weeks, he's, he's done really well. You know, certainly, you can get a lot better um, when you play here, and I, I think he is one of those guys who's taken advantage. Yeah, he's, you know, I mean, I think it's gonna, like he's, he's one of the smaller players in the league. Um, you know, obviously, when you're competing against 20 year olds, it's going to be a strength issue, um, and that's what he's experiencing. It's not for a lack of skill, desire, or ability. It's just an adjustment. Sometimes you need to like uh, recalibrate your game a little bit, make a little bit faster decisions when you have the puck, uh, make an earlier read, um, and, or even just manage the puck a little bit better. So you know you're not putting yourself in such high risk plays. Uh, but he's he's done really well. It's the highest level he's played at as well, too. Some of the best players. Absolutely. Now, coach, talking about EHL two games this weekend. How do you do? Yeah. Also played Seahawks at home. Uh, one night game two to one, and then played against New Hampshire Avalanche on Sunday, uh, lost 5-2 with, with empty net. So we got two clips of the EHL in action this weekend. This is from the first game against Seahawks uh, with the score tied 1-1. Kevin Johnston would pass to Declan House, who passes to Pavel Svoboda in front for the game winner. This is from Sunday versus the Avalanche. Great. Breakout pass from Julius Crandall and Bobby Bernier would pass to Richards Jelenskis. Uh, would make a great, great goal, a great shot. Um, we'll lost this game though, five to two. So, coach, those are two players you mentioned there: Pavel Swoboda and Julie. Uh, excuse me, Richard Richard Jelenskis. I always got to get that thing right. Uh, two players who are highly skilled kids who are all stars in the league. Tell me a little bit about their games a little bit. Yeah, I think two different players. Pavel plays center. He's kind of like a, a two-way um, two player. He's good at both ends of the rink. A smart player as well. Um, Richards is you know, a really talented offensive player. Last year, I think he had around 50 points in 30 games. So yeah. um, he was at the top of the league in, uh, in terms of points last season. So. Uh, I think both have had a you know, okay start to the season, but there's certainly some untapped potential that we're, that we're looking for uh, with the rest of the season. I, I couldn't agree more. I think, you know, you see that play by the Richards makes, getting a puck in the neutral zone, making one play, and beating a goalie from about 25 feet out. There's not many players in the league that can do that. No, there's not. So it's just a matter of, you know, a little consistency here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the players has been most consistent for us all year has been Julius. He's the captain of the EHL team. We've got an interview coming up with Coach Keems and Julius right now. All right, with me now is Julius Quandall. Welcome to the welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Coach. First time. 
Yeah. How does it feel? Feels great. Yeah. It's uh, real exciting stuff. Uh, how's uh, how's the season been going so far? 2021-22 season. I think the team have been struggling a bit. Uh, uh, I think just now we're finding a way to start winning. Still missing a bit of the goals that we should get, but we're starting to get there. And it's a great group to work with, and we all love each other and want to work with each other. So it's an awesome place to be. So why don't uh, we'll start start back a little bit? Tell everyone you know where you're from and and uh, how you started in hockey. And yeah, so I'm from Stavanger, Norway. Um, I I played hockey as long as I can remember. Uh, my dad brought me to the hockey school in Stavanger, and I loved it ever since. Uh, they always tell me stories that I would cry when I couldn't go for any reason and. Like I was sitting in the car with my helmet on, ready to go. So hockey has just been the biggest part of my life. And when I got the offer to come over here and pursue it more, it was a very excited moment for me. What what uh, led you to the Wolves program? Why did you choose to play here? Well, uh, you for first thing. Uh, um, I played in Canada at a prep school and. Uh, it's my last year and I got a call from you and I like remember my last year since the Vanger uh, watching you and you also were on the ice when we did the, some academy stuff so when you gave me that call and told me about the great program we have done here with the Den development and a lot of ice time and the college uh, exposure I was intrigued and wanted to come here and play. Great. What, uh, what are you looking forward to rest rest of the season here with the team? Um, to get a lot of wins, uh, of course, uh, personal goal is to win the whole thing. Um, I'm personally not going to stop until we do it, so that's that's the only goal for me, at least. Okay, great. Do you have a message uh, for the fans back in Norway and Norwegian? <laughs> I am just kidding, my papa. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, Coach, that was Julius, the captain of the EHL team. Tell me a little bit about his style of play, his game, and where you project to see him in the next couple of years. Yeah, I think he's an all-around defenseman with really good offensive uh, qualities, but also I mean, defends really well, too. Um, I think he will. You know, a lot of college programs want him on their team, um, so I expect him to, to have a really good college career uh, following this season. He, um, you know, he had that shootout the other day against, I believe it was Apple Corps, and uh, the commentator um, made a comment that, you know, the Wolves started off with their shooters in the shootout with two defensemen, and he thought that was kind of ironic, but that seems pretty natural in this building that we have our two, two of our best players go out there. And Julius was the second shooter, and he scored. And tell me a little bit about that, because obviously you, know, you scored a lot of shootout goals in your day, too. Uh... <laughs> Well, you know, we have Declan House and, and Julius, who are both really, you know, two of our best shootout guys. Um, you know, they, they did a great job. We Somehow we didn't win that shootout. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we, we, we picked the right guys, I'm sure. Definitely. Now, those, Julius is one of the number of players. Um, we mentioned a little bit last week, the EHL All-Stars that's coming up in about 10 days. Um, you were on a call this week. Tell me about the format for that EHL All-Star game. What it's going to look like? So this one is, uh, there's four different teams, and um, there was a draft uh, last week over Zoom. And so <laughs> um, I didn't get any of the players on our team on, the, <laughs> on my team, but that was because, uh, you know, other teams picked up. So Snatched them up. That was good for them. So yeah, and there'll, there'll be a few like short games, kind of round robin, and then a, a finals on, on Monday afternoon. That'll be very cool. It'll be a good opportunity for you know some of the best players in the league to get in the side one building and hopefully give them a little bit more exposure. They, all, they already get plenty of it with the showcases and you know location of the league, but this will be an even another layer on top of that. Breaking news: Drew Arpin is replacing Pavel Svoboda in the All Star game. Uh, off the press due to uh, visa issues. With ah. so uh, that's the first time you hear of that. <laughs> so he's got to go somewhere and come back. He does. Yeah, leave the country and come back.
Well, at least he's doing it during the All Star game, so he doesn't miss any regular season games. Uh, well, he'll miss one. Ah, so. <laughs> ah, typical, typical. Yeah, yeah. But when we have pri- priority All Star game, we still got a couple of games left here before the break. Tell me what we got coming up. Yep, we have uh, East Coast Wizards uh, this Friday, midday, um, in Laconia. Then we have the All Star, little All Star break, and a Tuesday uh, versus Seacoast Spartans. That's great. And then I believe we have a, on Saturday, we have an EHLP game. And the, the big thing with the U15s this weekend is the NEPHL playoffs. So they're going for that NEPHL playoff championship. Hopefully, we make a two for two in the building. And uh, some of the other youth teams have just some, some uh, independent and friendly games going up, coming up here before the break. And then we're on with Thanksgiving. A lot of hockey. Good a lot, stuff. A lot of hockey happens quick. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in, all, all the hockey fans, and uh, make sure to check out our website. Mm-hmm. Any-wolfshockey.com. <laughs>